Design AI have added a few AI video upgrades. Not only have they added a few more models in, but they've also added video to video lip sync. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm going to basically show you these updates and compare the new lip sync to the old lip sync I did in the previous video. Now we're gonna start with a direct comparison. I have this image here. And in the last lip sync video, we were able to create this video. The power of the mind is limitless. As a Shaolin monk, you will learn to empty your mind. And one of the complaints was that there's nothing else happening but the talking, so we have no way of really animating the rest of the video. But now, Design AI have added video to video lip sync. And if I go here to AI video, when I go to the lip sync tab, I can choose an image or even upload a video, which is pretty handy. But I can also click on this image here, go to AI video, and I'm just gonna go image to video. And using Kling 2.0, I have a prompt ready. It says a man breathes heavily as fire roars around him. I'm going to go for a five second video and hit generate. And now our video has been made. You notice that his lips actually move. So that's not part of the lip sync. That's just the uh, Kling model adding that in. But how does it work when we add our lip sync to it? Now, as I said before, I can come up to lip sync here and upload the video, or I can just hit this lip sync button underneath the video generation and it automatically adds the video into this little face image video preview section. Where it says pick a voice, I can go to upload audio, drag my audio in. Now that goes for a little bit more than five seconds. So I may need to create a longer video for this to work, but I'm just gonna test it out. I'm gonna hit generate. The power of the mind is limitless. As a Shaolin monk, you will learn to empty your mind. And that's turned out pretty good. So we're gonna dive a little bit deep into that, but first of all, I'm actually going to just go out and create a new project. So you're gonna check out the new AI video models I have. I click on AI video, and you see here we've got Kling 1.6, and we've got Pro, we've got Kling, you can see the different points that it takes to sort of run each of these models. So we've got a whole bunch of different models here to choose from now, and Kling 2.0 is definitely one people are after. We're gonna try out text to video briefly though, as we have uh, a, a smaller range of models, but still some very good ones. So if I were to say type in a prompt, something like a cinematic shot of a man looking worried. Behind him is a dystopian city destroyed. And we have six different models here that we can try, although we have Kling Standard, Kling 2.0. want to stick with 16 to nine, just simply because that's what this YouTube video is set as. I'm gonna have everything just set right in the middle here, five seconds, and I'm gonna create one video from each model. And then we're gonna pick the best one. We're gonna have a look at the lip sync function a bit further. Starting off with Kling 1.6, this is definitely a great video, but not really usable for lip sync because we're gonna see the back of his head. Kling 2, however, we can see this guy's face. The video is pretty decent. Picks first four. We get close up of the face, but it's just a little bit sort of artificial looking. Minimax, this looks amazing. I think I'm gonna run with this one for sure. And then we've got Luma Ray 2, another Pretty good video. Maybe we can try some of these out, maybe more than just one. And Luma Ray Flash, the guy's already talking, so it'd be interesting to see how that goes as well. So I do think this one is the best result. So I'm gonna to go to Lip Sync. And instead of recording my own voice and uploading it, this time I'm going to pick a voice. And you can see we have different tones here. We can test, so I'll try James. I must not fear. Fear is... Or maybe Finn. Hey, what's up guys, this is Finn. For now, we'll stick with James. I'm gonna give him something to say, such as, I have, it's all gone, the AI took over. So I'm gonna try that out, as well as maybe a few other voices on some different videos, just to see how the results turn out. It's all gone, the AI took over. Now, I was pretty satisfied with that one. That one worked pretty well. It's all gone, the AI took over. And this one, if you look at the mouth, it doesn't quite work 100%. It's all gone, the AI took over. And due to the small face size, this one is very subtle. But using large faces seems to be the key to getting the best results, and the clearer the image, the better. So I decided to create something for the intro of this video you've already seen. I created an image of me in front of the pyramids using the face lock system to make sure my face is on there. And I generated some videos with some of the different models, but I actually got a lot of errors and had to try a few different videos before it would finally accept what I created. So it is important that your images are sharp. So before I converted this one to video this time, I went down to enhance and upscale to sharpen up the image. I also cropped it down to the face a little bit. I then used Minimax and got this video 
And that's a pretty decent video. There's a little bit of movement, but not too much. So it looks a little more organic to work with. And now I can go to lip sync and the video is in. And now I wanna go pick a voice. I'm going to upload my audio, which is a part of my introduction. So it goes for 5.4 seconds. I generate and compare the new lip sync to the old lip sync I did in the previous video. And it's not as perfect as I would like, but it's good enough for what we're trying to do here. I still think this technology has a long way to go, but at the moment, for what it is in its infancy, it's working reasonably well. And these videos do come out in 720p, so I decided again, as I did in the last video, to take it into Topaz Video AI, Starlight, and upscale it to 1080p, and I've got this result. And compare the new lip sync to the old lip sync I did in the previous video. But as a final test, I took these AI generated videos I've done. This one was done in Design AI some time ago. This one was done in, I believe, Luma Labs. And the next one also done in Luma. And I thought I'd see how well they worked. But on top of that, I thought I'd get a video from Pexels of an actual woman in a car using a phone to see how well it handled real footage. And we're gonna check out the results. This is complete, utter madness. Oh my God, check out this Tory gate. I'm sick of this chaos. I'm going to go bake some cookies. I wonder how far away we are. I'll ask the AI. Now, all of these turned out a lot better than some of the other ones we tried, but if you really look close and scrutinize, you can see tiny little uh, sort of imperfections, but I think that's to be expected. But also, it cuts the end of the video off and only produces the lip sync portion. Consider how long this original footage went compared to the lip sync. And when I splice the two together- How far away we are. I'll ask the AI. Unfortunately, there's a little lip morph. However, one solution is to cut the video at a different time or even use something like a fade transition to smooth it out. I wonder how far away we are. I'll ask the AI. So until these tools really improve, there are workarounds for some of these very minor issues. Now, one tip when you're creating some of these videos like I am with this one here, I've got my prompt here. I always recommend generating and playing the audio first. Jeremy, you forgot to turn off the oven. Now the cookies are runned. Notice how she said runned at the end because I have made a typo. This is a great way just to make sure they're saying the words the way you want to say them. So now I can correct that. Try again. Jeremy, you forgot to turn off the oven. Now the cookies are ruined. But also one thing to mention is sometimes when you get longer videos, you may actually have to pay uh, more credits. But uh, if we take this now and I generate my video. Jeremy, you forgot to turn off the oven. Now the cookies are ruined. And we get our final video. So that is a pretty powerful tool, being able to now not just lip sync an image, but actually upload an existing video, add lip sync to it. Like I said, it's not without its limitations. So you're gonna have to try a few different things. You maybe have to do a little bit of video editing, or maybe even just try once or twice on the same one, same video, and that might help you get the result that you're after. Otherwise, that's the video for today, guys. Definitely check that out. Design AI, there's a link in the description. And I wanna thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.